Okay, cross-platform, next generation. And the way we found to make one game sound system for all the next-gen contenders is called OpenAL. It's free, which helps, and it works, and it is open, which means you can get a reference implementation the source for any platform. And it does cool stuff, and it does it consistently, which is absolutely crucial to cross-platform. And you're going to hear that, so thanks for coming. I'm going to start off with a very simple demo showing cricket on the PC of the 360. Now, cricket is not a complicated game from an audio point of view, but, and it's obviously not a big thing over here in the States, but it did uh, manage to stay at number one in Australia and the UK last time for a few weeks. So it's quite important to us. It's important to us that we now have a version that's going to run on Vista, that's going to run on Xbox 360, and that's going to be out in a week or so. So here's just a couple of grabs showing you different speaker configurations and different platforms with Brian Lara Cricket 2007. Oh, comprehensively bold. A complete lapse in concentration and he's paid for it with his wicket. Yes! Oh, and he's bowled him. It seems like miles back to the pavilion when you've got our cheap league. He's getting a polite round of applause as he makes his way to the pavilion. Let's see that in slow motion. Even in surround, the cricket doesn't push an X5 or a console hardware very hard. Perhaps eight voices most of the time, 16 only if something really exciting happens. And that only happens a few times a day in the day of the game of cricket. <laughs> so, no sweat really, even on a Sandblaster Live or a PS2. Um, but our new game, Dirt is another matter. It's designed around the capabilities of the X5 and the 360 and the PS3, and it layers a lot on top of the cross-platform capabilities of OpenAL to get really next generation sound. So some of the ideas I'm going to be explaining here are things that will be useful however you choose to render stuff in, in your games. I'm going to play a clip from Rally later, if you could and I'll be exploring some ways to use OpenAL in the meantime. But before we chose OpenAL, we did a survey and we asked people uh, who were customers of us already how they actually listened to our games because we could see the next gen transition coming in. More than 700 people replied, so it was a statistically useful result. And unfortunately, there's no right answer. You can see that 7% of the people listening on consoles are using mono televisions. Um, about half of the people on consoles were using stereo TV or stereo speakers at that point. And about 30% of the PC owners, even though almost 50% of the PC owners that responded had got some sort of 4.0 or better surround setup, about 30% of them um, were using surround speakers and another 30% were mainly playing on headphones. So there's no right answer when it comes to configuring your audio. You've got to make sure that uh, although the game is going to work well for people with a 5.1 or 7.1 surround system, it's still going to deliver the assets and the, the, the whole uh, experience of the game to people who've got much simpler systems. And it's about making sure that what the sound designer has done comes across regardless of the limitations of the customer's platform or the limitations of the speaker setup they happen to be using. What the survey showed us though was a couple of main things. Surround was very important to gamers, and getting more so. And a lot of people had decent audio hardware, but certainly not everyone. We've got console people on portable tellies, load using headphones. And after we did the survey, with the details of the 360 and the X5 and the PS3 coming in, we realised that there's also a lot of power from DSP coming in next gen, and we couldn't ignore that, despite all the differences between the platforms and the issues with compatibility of the sound. And we couldn't afford to write our own from scratch either. Not on a realistic budget, and not at the same time as getting a good game out. We needed to make cross-platform games that would sound as good as ones that were dedicated to any one of the next-gen platforms. 